If you are like me, you have recently discovered that CC Light Burst 2.5, depending on your ray length, will make your render times impossibly long. I recently had to render just a three second clip that all it had was just a CC Light Burst effect on one object and it took three hours. And so I ran some tests and I found out that if you apply CC Light Burst to an adjustment layer, then the render time is much, 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 much faster. Um, so I, if you just have, you know, one layer, it's not a big deal, but because I have here and you probably do as well, an entire composition that has multiple layers and it's in 3d, then you need to have a quick, efficient way of applying the adjustment layer with the CC light burst 2.5 just to the object and to do it very quickly, maintaining the position and everything. So you don't have to do a lot of manual repositioning of everything. There's a lot of ways I'm sure you can do this, but this is the most efficient way that I discovered. So let's get started. <clears throat> Take your original object that has the effect on it, duplicate it by pressing Command D, and now you can make it invisible. And we want to pre-comp this layer by pressing Command Shift C and choose Move All Attributes into the new composition. The reason why we're making this a pre-comp is because adjustment layers, of course, affect everything beneath them. So we want it to only affect just this moon here, and we have to do it within a pre-comp in order to achieve that. When you make the pre-comp, it becomes 2D again, so click that to make it 3D again. Now double-click on the pre-comp. Now this is very important, the order that you do this next step because um, it's either there's a glitch or I just don't understand it, but this is the exact order you have to do it. Right click, choose new null object, first parent the null object to, uh, full, to the original object, and then make it 3D. If you do it in another order, then it doesn't make it 3D correctly. So now you want to move this, the center of this um, null object to the center of the moon or wherever you're going to want the center of the center for your light burst effect to be, move this little crosshair on the top left side of the adjustment layer to wherever you want that to be. So now we have the null object parented to the moon and you'll see that it follows it quite nicely. Now, create a new adjustment layer, and this adjustment layer, go to the effect, the CC light burst effect, and scroll to the first keyframe of it. Select the effect, press Command C to copy, and now go to the adjustment layer and press Command V to paste. So now we have an identical CC light burst there. But if you'll scroll through it, you'll notice it's obviously not positioned right because the center is up here and it doesn't look the same. So what you then do is you can go ahead and remove the effect from your original. And now what we want to do is we want to parent the center of the CC light burst to the null object. However, since the null object is 3D and the adjustment layer is 2D, you have to compensate for that with a tiny little expression. So hold down the Option key and click on Center. And now what you want to do is click this little thing called the Pick Whip and move it over to the null object, but then add at the end here Oops, hold on, let me grab this expression. So, parent, use the pick whip to parent to the null object, and then just add this at the end. Dot, to, underscore, comp, blah, 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 blah. You should be able to see that, I'll zoom in there. Click enter. Now, you will see the effect perfectly works with the moon, except now it's on an adjustment layer, so you can go ahead and delete 
the old effects and now your render time will be much 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 faster and if you go in here you'll see it looks exactly the same as it did before but now it's using an adjustment layer for CC light burst and that's how you do it hope that helped